so my name is Charlotte Brassi and I am a postdoctoral research assistant at the Natural History Museum uh, and I'm a, I'm a paleontologist and I specialise in biomechanics so that means I'm interested in reconstructing how large these animals were and, and how they moved. Sophie is a specimen of Stegosaurus denops um, and she was found in Wyoming which is a state in North America and the piece of rock that she was found in dates from around about 155 million years old, so it's from the Jurassic era. Uh, and she has now gone on display in our Earth Gallery at the Natural History Museum, uh, and she is uh, positioned in a stance uh, as if she is being attacked uh, by a predator, so she's waving these very characteristic tail spikes that stegosaurs have in the air to defend herself. When you purchase a, a specimen, a fossil, uh, we also purchase the, the armature, which is the kind of metal framework that the bones sit on. So when we decided what stance we wanted her in, then they can construct this framework to, to, for the bones to sit on, to get her into that pose. So then when it comes to actually putting her on display on, on the big launch day, all we have to do is construct this, this metal work, uh, which is really put together by just a bunch of, of Allen keys, effectively. It's just like constructing a, a bookcase from Ikea. My background is really in fossil birds, so I'm also working on projects to do with the dodo, also the, the giant moa bird in New Zealand. So the first scientific publication that's coming out of, of this project is reconstructing the body mass of Sophie the Stegosaurus. So when we're interested in looking at what Stegosaurus would have eaten or perhaps how fast it would have moved, kind of interesting questions like that, one of the fundamental properties that we need to reconstruct those are with body mass. So we've used a couple of different techniques to estimate how heavy Sophie would have been, and we put it somewhere around the same as, as a small rhino, something like that. Um, so the kind of techniques we've been using are 3D scanning, so either a CT scanning of x-rays or laser scanning, and from that we can build a, a 3D computer model of what the stegosaur looked like, uh, and from that we can reconstruct how heavy it was. Uh, and now we have these results going forward, we can say things perhaps about how she would have walked, how fast she could have moved.